Okay, so how can we add and subtract rational numbers? Let's start with these easy integers right here. So that way, when we get to all of this decimal mess, it's a lot easier, okay? So um, the first rule is, is that if you actually have two integers that have different signs, this is a positive and this is a negative, you would actually find the absolute value of both of them. So this absolute value of six, it's 6 with absolute value of negative 4, it's 4. So you found the absolute values, and now we subtract them with 6 minus 4, 2. The last thing is, is keep the sign of the greatest absolute value. This had the greatest absolute value, so it was positive. That means our answer is positive. Over here, when we look at subtraction, we're still going to use the keep change change saying. So we keep the sign of the first number, we change subtraction to addition, and then we change the sign of the second number, 5 plus negative 8. Now we're adding. That's the whole point of doing this KCC uh, step through there so that way you can change the subtraction problem into addition. But now we have to check the signs. This is a positive. This is a negative. When they're mixed signs like that and we're adding, we're actually going to take the absolute value. So what's the absolute value of negative 8? It's 8. Absolute value of positive 5 is 5. Always put the biggest absolute value first, and then subtract the smaller one. 8 minus 5 is 3. And then make sure you do the check again for which absolute value um, was greater. It was negative 8, so that means my answer will be negative. Let's take a look at this right here. We're adding two different numbers. This time they do have decimals. Um, just as a quick review, 1.2 or 1 and 2 tenths plus 2 and 3 tenths, you would do this. You make sure that your decimals are lined up vertically. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer would be 3.5, uh, although a little bit sloppy there. Uh, careful that it doesn't float up there too high. There we go. Here uh, we have mixed signs, so we're going to subtract them. The absolute value of 6 and one tenth is positive six and one tenth. Uh, absolute value of four and five hundredths is four and five hundredths. Because it's different signs and we're adding, we subtract. And you just have to carefully go about your business here. And then which absolute value is greater? This one. So we'll use this negative sign for our answer. So answer to our first question is negative 2 and 5 hundredths. If you're watching this at home, I would pause the video and see if you can work out uh, the next problem. We'll be doing this one right here. Check your work. This will be the third one we do, and this will be the fourth one. Good luck. All right, so um, we're subtracting, so keep change, change. Keep it, change, change. Okay. Uh, we have mixed signs, so we're just going to subtract the two numbers. I'm going to put this yellow zero in, just that way you can know it's a placeholder. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. And now we just subtract. Remember to check your, your sign. Uh, this is definitely a greater absolute value, so my answer is negative 6,300. Now we're doing this one. Um, pay attention to the signs. They are not mixed this time. So it's 7.8 uh, being added to 11.723 thousandths. And I'm going to put in some placeholder values here. Again, when we're adding signs and they're the same, we just add them together and keep the sign the same. This is 15. Carry the 1. So it's uh, negative 19. 523,000. Okay. Um, again, it's because they have the same signs. When they have different signs, we take the absolute values and subtract them. Um, Last one, keep change, change. So we keep this sign the same. We're going to change the subtraction. And this goes to a negative because we have to change this one. We have mixed signs again. So we take the absolute values of each number. 
and we just subtract. This time I'm not going to use yellow to show the zero, but you can just put it in right there. We'll have to borrow. Take your time on this. Don't make a mistake. Borrow again. Regroup. Pull your decimal down. And which one had the greatest absolute value? The negative number. So it's negative 10 and 4300. Hopefully this will help you out. Good luck.